Hi folks, I'm Hot on Android.com where we get hot on Android every day. Uh, for this week's LG G3 ROM of the week, do check out the Cyanide, Cyanide L ROM. Uh, I've been running this on several of my other phones, but I really love it. It's really solid on the LG G3. I've got it running on my T-Mobile LG G3, uh, but you can also run it on AT&T D850 and also the International D855. Uh, you'll get the latest Android 5.1.1. And let me go ahead, go ahead and so go over some of the features um, just in case um, you don't know how to use an AOSP ROM. This is an AOSP ROM, by the way. Uh, everything works out of the box, including Netflix. It's actually very, very stable. Uh, if you go into Cyanide, Cyanide Mods, you'll get all of these customizations. I'm not going to go over all of them, uh, but let me go ahead and go over some of the stuff that I like. And let me go ahead and show you the interface here. Um, you can get uh, app circle bar if you want. That's the circle bar here. Um, that's one of my favorites, so I've got that enabled. Expanded desktop. Uh, if you want to expand the whole, uh, all of your apps, for example, Chrome, um, you want to hide both the status bar and navigation bar, you can go ahead and do that. And after that, uh, your Chrome browser will basically have a full screen effect there without your navigation bar. So this is a great way to sort of lengthen uh, the size of your display for certain apps that you want to um, use. All right, uh, also you can go ahead and change the LCD density, gesture anywhere, pie controls, uh, all of the things that you would normally find on a custom AOSP ROMs, you would find it pretty much here. Now there is a navigation bar for some reason, I can't find it here. And uh, let's actually go look at power menu while we're at it. You can get screenshots, screen recording. All right, setting shortcuts, uh, more shortcuts, a ton of shortcuts. So that is very nice. And uh, there also is a cyanide blackout. This will make all your uh, settings UI black. Um, this will actually save you a ton of battery life. Uh, blacks in general use less energy, even on LCDs, even though it does use energy for LCDs it still uses way less energy. So that'll save you some battery life there. And one thing I like about this one over the CM 12.1 uh, specifically is the buttons, the navigation bar here. All right, you can also uh, enable the navigation bar here. Well, it's enabled, sorry. Also navigation ring bar if you want. And what I really like is the nav bar customization. Uh, not all the AOSP ROMs have it, but some have the one where you can go ahead and add a ton of buttons. You can add up to like eight buttons if I want to. Uh, you can also swipe to go away. One thing I really like about this one over CM 12.1 in general is that you can actually uh, have a, not custom icon, whoops. You can actually have it going to uh, your custom app. Whereas Sanders and Mob will only let you do like back button, menu button, just the basic stuff. But with this one, you can go to applications and choose any of your favorites, which is really cool. Go to Netflix, um, whatever, and you can go ahead and add more buttons if you want. So this is a really cool feature. I really like it because that really clears up your uh, home screen for other stuff. You know, just I just find this more intuitive, especially with a phone like this one where you have a soft buttons here. Um, that makes it very nice to just have your all of your favorite shortcuts here, and also you can do navigation ring bar. Um, overall, it's a very solid ROM. Uh, also comes with Nova Launcher, uh, which is one of my favorite launchers on the Play Store. Well, the favorite launcher. Other than that, it's very, very solid for camera. Should be working out of the box just fine. And we'll just place our Hulk here real quick. It's not the LG UI, of course, with any USB ROM, uh, but your laser focus still works. And let's go look at some of the resolutions you can do. Um, you can do 4K UHD, just like the LG software, so that's good. Also 1080 for front, so you can pretty much make full use of your camera. And also microSD is supported beyond 32 gigabytes, so you can use 64 or 128 gigabytes. Uh, but overall, also performance should be very, very good uh, without any, without doing any overclocking or anything like that. So definitely check it out. I think you guys will like it. And do let me know what you think. But I do love this ROM. It's pretty awesome. So definitely if you want a really um, 
solid, stable ROM that's fast for your LG G3. Definitely check it out. There's my LG G4. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. It's kind of getting long. Check it out for Cyanide, Cyanide L for your LG G3 for this week's ROM week. And do let me know again. It's for AT&T T-Mobile and the D855. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, on Android. Thank <laughs> you.